Now, I will throw this into the case, only because this is an old O and A bit that we used to do. When you would find out about teachers, female teachers who slept with their students, and you would look Shit, at Shit, I thought you were going to do the virus. Damn it. <laughs> never. Never again. I love it, man. Which, by the way, I think I had a breakthrough with the virus bit. Oh, yeah? Somebody was talking about it a while ago um, in the comments somewhere, and they're like, oh, you're going to do the virus? Like, It was such a dumb bit. But as time has gone on, and I reflected on it, and the way things have unfolded since the uh, the end of that show, I didn't create the virus bit. That was an Opie bit. Yeah. Was that projecting? Because Dude, putting me on the spot, because look, there, no one's gonna believe this, right? And hopefully, at some point, you know, if, if ever I asked with Norton, he can attest to this. But there are times, because I know the bit, I knew what was going on. There are times you threw out something there, and I just didn't have a punchline. You know, I'm, I'm not a comic, so I didn't have enough time to, to sit and work something out. Sometimes I did. But the bit is funnier of me stretching it out and, you know, whatever it was. It, it was obviously a time killer. So sometimes I didn't say anything, and then I'd come up with something terrible, and it was enough to end the thing. Because you would hear Jimmy's like, just one line, and, and this thing is done. Like, it would drive him nuts that I couldn't think of anything. Sometimes I couldn't. Sometimes I did. One day, uh, no, I mean, after the bit, sometimes I would tell Jimmy I was going to think this. And he goes, that would have been fine. He knew. One day, I was just so annoyed with this bit because I was in the middle of really doing something important. I forgot what it was. And he calls me in to do it. And he goes, oh, one headline. So I just did it right away. And then, like, well, that's the end of the bit. Find that clip. You hear Ope go, well, that's all right. The bit's over now. Because I ended the thing, right? As time has gone on, I was thinking about it, and I go, all right, the bit was what it was. But as we've seen more about Opie's role on the show and what the fans think his role or lack of role it was in the show or whatever, analyzing that bit, I'm like, is he projecting that he couldn't think of the fucking thing to say so it became, oh, let's transfer to uh, to Iraq, which a lot of other bits did transfer to me. The Iraq jingle contest and a, a few other things were because he didn't want to be made fun of. And I'm not attacking him. I'm just saying this is what it was. Um, I, I started to think, uh, like, last week, I'm like, oh, my God, was that the bit? Was it a transference kind of thing that he just, he put, that was him. Dude, it's so weird you should say that. That's 100% my theory. Because at first I was like annoyed. I'm annoyed at Opie. I'm being like, why don't you fucking come up with a punchline if you're so fucking funny? I didn't think like I would like to see time. him put on the spot right. and, and under the exact same circumstances. And then I started to think as well. I was just like, you know what? I'll bet you this is about him. Like this is taking it off the pressure off of him, putting it on E Rock for for a bit. Because there's no fucking way Opie's funny enough or quick enough to come up with shit on the spot like he expected you to do. Right. And I'm also do like yeah they're doing stuff. I'm not saying that Opa and Jim were not doing stuff. They were doing the show. They they have to talk for four hours, six hours, whatever we were doing at the time. Um, but behind the scenes, you know, Sam's doing stuff. I'm running the board. Travis is doing stuff. Like we we're moving around while they're sitting having a discussion. We're doing everything else. And when I get pulled into that scenario, it's never, it was never planned. It was just, oh, let's bring the, like, and it just was spontaneous. But yeah, like a week or so ago, I was thinking about it and it was like a, you know when you have a breakthrough in therapy? Yeah. Like an oh my God moment? It hit me, I'm like, oh my God, was this another example of him projecting this onto me because he couldn't do it? I believe you're absolutely right. And like I'm telling you now, I sat, I stopped. My world stopped for a moment. I went, oh my God, it took me this long to realize <laughs> what this was. Now, I knew it from the other things. I knew it because of, uh, from the jingle contest, because the contest we had before that was about Opa and Jim. And if it wasn't goofing on the show, some a lot of it was shitting on him and he couldn't handle that. And... Uh, there was like one or two other things that were going on that got pushed off of him to 
to other people on the show. So then the next time the jingle contest came around, it was the E-Rock jingle contest because it's funnier to make it about me than it is to for him to have to take any slings and arrows from the audience right. where Jim and Anthony could go, say, yeah, I am a piece of shit, and they'd laugh about it or try to make it worse or funny or whatever they were doing. He couldn't do that. That virus thing, I almost was mentally broken. Like I was like, oh my God, is this what it is? And, and I talked to two other people and they said, oh my God, I think you're right. And mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that because you and I had not discussed this at all until just no. now. And that you had the same fucking feeling about it. This is therapy. This is the breakthrough. Yeah. Wow. And that's where I clip. Not it living in your head anymore. Yeah. He's <laughs> <It's> gone. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Opie. So weird, right? The truth is